in our last lesson, we talked about using a presentation aid. Well, now what we're going to do is talk about actually how do you use it in the speech. It's one thing to prepare it, but now how do you execute that in the actual presentation? And that's going to be my focus here for a few minutes today. So let's think about that for a second. The very first thing, obviously, at least it's obvious to me, would be you have to practice using it. Because if you don't know the material, you're not used to it, you haven't practiced it a few times, you're gonna have troubles with it. I don't care whether it's a technological thing or if you're just showing a poster. Uh, because, well, it's gonna be difficult because you haven't practiced it. And these motor skills that you learn are exactly the same kind of motor skills you might have in an athletic event where your, mind, your body just knows what to do because you've practiced it so many times. It's the same principle. So work with the, the presentation aid, practice it, practice showing it, practice passing it around, whatever you're gonna do with it, make sure that you, you practice it a little bit, or, may, or maybe a lot. Sight lines. Now this is an important one because you have to make sure that people can see it. So you need to, to, to make sure that you check. Now how do you do that? Well, you go out in the audience where they're gonna sit and you say, okay, I'm gonna put my poster here. Is every, can everybody see all of it? And if they can't, you need to either do one of two things, either A, move it where they can see it, or B, make it bigger. You know, you need to, you need to consider that so that you, you know what you've got. Otherwise, they may not be able to see it. You know, are there columns in the middle of the room? I've taught in a lot of classrooms over the years, and sometimes there's a column there, and some students can't see around that column. So you need to think about that before you, you, you get too involved. Use it and then lose it. Now, what I mean by that is, you need to use the presentation aid when it's time to use it and then lose it, put it away, put it down. Let me give you an example real quick. For instance, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit back and say, okay, well, I'm gonna use this poster maybe to open the speech. Maybe in a speech about drunk driving, you're gonna show a big poster of an accident, a terrible accident to get the audience's attention. But you don't wanna leave that up there the entire time. What you want to do perhaps is put that down and then maybe bring it back as a tagline at the end of the speech, but you don't want that distracting them. They're not listening to what you're saying. So you need to decide when you're going to use it, when you're going to lose it. And you need to make that choice depending on the topic, depending on what you're trying to accomplish in the presentation. Okay, so you need to learn when to use it and then lose it. Next thing on our list is the format. Here's the thing. Just as I just talked about, it's gotta be big enough. So if you're using a PowerPoint, it's gotta be big enough that we can see it. It's gotta be clear. There's gotta be some good contrast. So you need to look at like font size if you're doing a PowerPoint, or print size if you're printing something out, and then make sure it's consistent. Make sure that you don't have, you know, part of the PowerPoint in font seven and the other part in 16, that'll look weird or you have one part of the poster or one part of the object that's smaller than the other section of it for no particular reason other than you just messed that up. So think that through and check before you actually get up with it. The final thing is, and probably the most important thing, is what I call adaptation, meaning that there are gonna be moments, ladies and gentlemen, when it doesn't work, you know? For example, right now we're working here with uh, a little makeshift video place and as you can see behind me, I've got, I've got a, uh, a chalkboard. Well, let's say the chalkboard falls down. What do I do? Well, I jump out of the way first, but I have to find another way to present that information. And so you have to adapt, because sometimes things happen. Maybe your PowerPoint doesn't work. You know, maybe you, you didn't do your audience analysis and you end up in a place that has no electricity. And you know, I've done that a couple of times, which is awfully embarrassing. So be prepared to adapt. Do not draw attention to the fact that the that your PowerPoint or your presentation aid has failed. Just go right by it, keep on trucking, keep on giving the speech, because all you'll do is make a greater distraction by doing that. So here, these are some of the key tips, some of the key things you should keep in mind when you're trying to put together a PowerPoint and actually present it to an audience. Thank you guys, appreciate it.